We simply have to focus on this man. A hat-trick in his last game. Can he continue that red-hot form? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello, everyone. The weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And really looking forward to starting this new year with some live football for you. It's Reading, and they take on Derby County. Well, let's just hope the players weren't at the same Hogney party as you, Derek. Otherwise, we could be in for a really lacklustre performance. But this actually has the makings of being a really good encounter. Well, getting in the way, superb save. And over it comes. And you need your defender to take charge. Losing possession a bit easily. Well, for Reading, you have to say it was a great performance against Fulham. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, I think the scoreline tells us what a comfortable win it was. They scored three... Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Right, let's send it over to Alex because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Birmingham game. It's a goal for Birmingham City. The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. It's now 1-0 with 12 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Nicely timed tackle. Watson. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce... Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. He's going forward well. And in with a real chance. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, a second goal for them here. They've won back possession. Nathan Byrne. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Kazim Richards. Well, giving it a go in a bid to hold them back into this one. Well, they're knocking at the door here, but they need to score soon. McIntyre. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Watson. Chance to cross. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. A possession lost, intercepted. Knight. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Tremendously strong in the tackle. 
And the counter looks on here. Options available. And he's through here. Oh, right in the nick of time. Knight. Fraser. Nathan Byrne. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Colin Kazim Richards. And a good tackle. The drama of the Carabao Cup. And it's live with us here on EA TV. It's Reading facing Aston Villa. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. Swift. Very comfortable when in possession. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, that attempt skimming the crossbar. So unfortunate, Stuart. Well, it just doesn't come down in time, does it? But it's a wonderful effort, you have to say. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Watson. Fraser. A routine save. Thirty minutes left for play. Bodies forward and the break looks on. In it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Three goals without reply. And they need to get tighter. Happy to take on the shot. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. And a substitution in the offing. And there's the delivery. Crossed into the penalty area. Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. But I'm hearing the referee has pointed to the penalty spot in one of the other games. Let's hear more about it from Alex. Yes. It was Sheffield United that were awarded the penalty. As he stepped up, I have to say, he looked really nervous and it flew straight over the bar. The score is still 1-0 with 68 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Corner kick played in and still dangerous. Knight. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Derby County taking on Leicester City. Well, the cup always whets the appetite and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. And clears the danger. Well, let's take another look. And it doesn't come much closer than this, does it? 
He just squeezed it in off that post. Very good finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, it appears there's been a goal in the Bournemouth game. Over to Alex for the details. It's a second goal for Peterborough United. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. It's now 2-1 with 82 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. And so into the final five minutes. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Surely! Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. An attack full of promise. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly...